I've just come into the kitchen for my breakfast. And look who I see, it's the whole family. Hello, Hansel and Gretel. Are you enjoying hanging out in the kitchen today? Very nice to see you all. Oh, look how big they've got. And they always tend to sit on the windows looking in. At first we thought they just wanted our company, but it could well be that they're just checking their reflections out. What a beautiful sight first thing in the morning. They make me so happy with their little mohawks. Are you going to join the others? We still have the last of the patron day flowers around the chateau. They're just getting to the end of their life now. And it's making me miss Marie so much. She's left already. She's gone on a big, big adventure that I'm sure she'll be telling all of you more about in future. Now I'm going to go and see if Mummy and Percy are awake yet. Come in. Hello. Hello, you ray of sunshines. Good morning, how are you? Come, would you like a cup of tea? Oh, I'd love one, thank you. Okay, Daniel, you are just making one. Look at this vision of loveliness. Good morning. That is a vision of loveliness, yes. I love your robe, Percy. You see, when it comes to clothes, you're always very cutting edge here at Leland. Well, somebody has to be. Yeah, you lead by example. <laughs> trying to work out where the statue of the saint had gone in the bread oven room i could not understand it i thought she'd been broken and what do i see she was taken here for a thorough clean mm -hmm. that's Very your excuse clean. and then i thought i think is it, who is she actually i'm not a hundred percent certain i found her and then i thought she could be the saint of bread so that's why i put her in there well, she's a basket is full of flowers yeah so she could be the goddess of cereals you see sarah's but the problem is she's wearing a cross so i seem to be mixing my religions there yes <laughs> No, I didn't bring it back. I thought uh, it was unappreciated there. No, no, no. I saw immediately that she had gone. But she is very pretty in here. You can have her in I here. I cleaned her. I think she's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I cleaned her very well. Her poor little flowers had lost their colour. I really had been worried about her. Oh, you should have mentioned. Yeah, it's only recently that I Yes, think. I know. I, I know. It was after the big cleaning of the bread oven room. Yes. We know it's morning, Spud. Seriously, we know. I wanted to get rid of stuff. I was going to thank you for that lovely tea and porridge, but now you've got yourself into a state. Yes. We have to take things to Imaus and we have to do it right now, this very second. We have to get rid of stuff and we have a van to get rid of stuff. So please, let's use it. Well, let's go and see my aunt and uncle and see if we can use their van. Hang on. Back of your hair has not been brushed. But look, I haven't done it. I don't think anyone's downstairs yet. It was just me. I was setting up to do a little bit of work in here. No one else is here. Nobody has breakfasted? No, no one's been down here. I think everyone's still resting. Can you show me? Oh, oh look. Natty's outside. Oh? Natty. And she's carrying a chair. And if she's carrying a chair, she could be taking it to a van. Nope, she's taking it to the flat. No, I think the others are still in bed. Mummy is clearly getting quite anxious. So I've run upstairs. I am dressed. I am ready for anything. And I'm going to run downstairs and, let's face it, start clearing more things out to make her happy. This is it. We are getting ready to send a lot to Imaus. Fabulous. Absolutely. All of our cutlery is going. This is great. Yes, good. We've had so much cutlery. It's been taking up all the space in the kitchen. There goes one more massive box for Imaus. We're really doing well at clearing at the moment. It's a lot. It's a lot. Well, that's quite a lot. Come on, Mummy must be happy. That's a fair bit going to Imaus. Mummy might be happy, but... <laughs> I can never please every member of the family in one go. <laughs> yes. I was going to say, Brilliant. I think the last time I was happy was 1983. <laughs> Enjoy. Have fun. Have fun. That's what that means. Well, it's very subjective. Are you going to the market as well? Oh, yes. We have, well, Whatever we're, time is left. Okay. We're feeding you all tonight. Doing some shopping for tonight, yes, maybe, because I'm cooking tonight. Oh, oh la la, merci. 
You look absolutely stunning, by the way. I Thank love that you. top. Thank you. Should I see you later? I admit it, mummy was actually right. It just feels amazing to clear. Well, carry on clearing. It feels as though we've been doing nothing but clear for a couple of months now. Hello. Bach pajamas. Yeah, of course I've got a be on brand. You've got a brand. This is my brand. I love it. Bach pajamas. It's so good. But who even painted it? I don't know. I, I found it in Zara. It was really bizarre. It was like this is meant to be. Zara have made Bach pajamas. Yeah, like I don't know about seven years. Does ago. it have like trousers? Going no, on? no. It was just a massive T-shirt. So I love it. <laughs> It's quite a relaxed day today as everybody is just relaxing after the patron days because we all pulled together as a team to make it as lovely as possible for everyone. And now it's calm. But Ombeline is not having such a calm day. She is in the garden and she is peacock proofing all of the beds. We didn't want the peacock proofing in whilst the patrons were here. We wanted them to be able to see the vegetables, but now she's tough. So I see things are changing now that patron day is over. Yeah, so now we're putting back the cage on. <laughs> yeah, so now it's getting ugly, but peacock proofed. <laughs> They're looking really good. Yeah, this is a mixed salad on the left. Oh yeah, some purple, red and yeah, green. Purple and green, and those ones are a little bit spicy. And I thought you started to eat it, but I think that's not you. That's <laughs> not me, it's so, definitely the peacocks. <laughs> so that's why there is a dead sunflower who's actually helping to uh, support a little bit. Clever, <laughs> I like what you've done there. <laughs> And then what else do we have? Then we have beetroot and rockets. Great. Okay, so, so this is a kind of salad bed. Yeah, pink Chinese radish. Oh! So it's like uh, the black radish. Yes. So it's as big. But it's, it's long, yeah. Winter radish, but it's sweet. It's not um, uh, so spicy as the yes. black one. So, oh, I'm excited about so that. it's a nice one. Peacock so, proofing. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, not that nice, but it's corn salad and spinach. What's corn salad? I have no idea about the translation. If oh, it's good mash. Or not. It's lamb's lettuce. Lamb's L lettuce. Mash is, yeah, lamb's lettuce. I've never heard it described <laughs> as corn salad, but yeah, it must be another way of uh, calling it. Yeah, you lot are in disgrace, aren't you? You're eating everything. Look what we're having to do. Right here, you're going to have a turnip <gasps> here. Yes, for the winter. So I don't know if you see them, but they're right here. Tiny baby right there. All, um, on those two lines and right here I just put uh, more beetroot and there's two kind and for today that's what I'm on it <laughs> I'm just gonna protect this one and then for next year Amory says he'll make protections yeah. some more permanent protections yeah. I, like kind of um, kind of like uh, easy to go in but protecting them we're gonna have to think about that yeah no, no, and it could, it could be good yeah. by the way how amazing are the cabbages <laughs> they're so perfect they're getting really really yeah good. really nice so today i also uh harvested uh some rhubarbs who were kind of thick yes. and ready to go and more tomatoes uh more potatoes because we still have those two beds to go um We've had them all summer. It's been fantastic, yeah. the potatoes. And it's like full of them. <laughs> I'm always like, one more bucket. Yeah, you don't want two buckets. There's <laughs> so, so many, so many of them. And I've been so excited to show you the dahlias because obviously we use them in the house. It really is a cut flower garden. But because of the patron days, we stopped cutting so that people would actually see them in bloom. We didn't realize just how many would come out. It is a mass of flowers. These are probably my favorites because look at the size of that. It is so exquisite. I like the yellow pom-poms as well with the little white patches in them and the huge feathery red ones. And now let me introduce you to a couple of new ladies who have arrived. For a start, our recent batch have settled in really well. Look, there's Olive just hanging out with everyone, super happy. And if we go over here, you can see that there are new chickens as well. There's Pegasus flaunting her magnificent feet. She looks a little bit shy. Hello, Pegasus. Hello. It's okay. Just come to say hi. And next to her, we have this magnificent new addition. You know, let's face it, quite a deranged looking chicken over here. Hello. <laughs> Just looks absolutely crazy. Oh, I have no idea what to call you. I mean, it's a silk and silkies are usually lovely and fluffy and pretty, but it's a bit more like a vulture. What a bottom. Look at that magnificent bottom. And we've got a very cute little buff coloured greyish silky looking a tiny bit bedraggled. 
Beethoven is as glorious as ever. Everyone's favorite chicken. And Picasso, I don't know if you can see Picasso, but she's got so big, she can barely walk with her magnificent feet. They're so feathered. I don't know if they need trimming. I could watch Picasso for hours. This is really sweet because I don't know if you remember, but when Pegasus arrived, that magnificent silky sat on her head and they've been hanging out together ever since. But yes, Beethoven, you will always be my favourite. On the way back to the kitchen, I'm actually quite surprised to see a second flush on the wisteria. So there's not lots and lots of flowers, but nevertheless, it's got far more than I would expect at this time of year. It's really pretty. There's one just opening out. It's amazing how it's slowly transforming the front of Nick and Marie's house. It's going to be really pretty when it covers it completely. Wow. Oh, that is amazing. That is sneak so peek. good. Look, you. That's a sneak peek. Oh, that's gorgeous. You're all torturing me. Can I see oh, it, no, please? No, no. Oh, that's lovely. Andy, is this, this your is new? Your... Oh. <laughs> what a talent. Okay. Please, oh, please, 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 can yeah. I see? Amazing. Guys, you can see it. The Marquis bedroom. Yeah. It's superb, yeah, it Andy. It's superb. Yeah. Look, Mummy, your yes. tapestry there. Yes. <laughs> oh, lovely. These well, are the ones wonderful. I started during uh, the patrons days. Yes. So a lot of them have seen <gasps> to involve how they involved. Oh, yeah, I didn't see uh, yeah. no. yeah, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, unbelievable. And do you want to see the other one? I do. I do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, that's a masterpiece. We, we it's very, very, very it took me hours and a lot of headache. The way you did the woman. <laughs> yes, I, I was so pleased she came it's out. Brilliant. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Here are the design. Yes. And here and there. And I, I, you know, I upholstered all of these. Yes. I don't, yes. Even this, I even made the you valance. Made yeah, and oh, I upholstered wow. the headboard. Yeah. Oh, I love yeah. it. I was thinking of yeah. giving you some lessons, but I no, think you've oh, yeah. reached perfection. <laughs> <laughs> A lesson in something else. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> but when I was finished, well, Philip, he told me, oh, I think I will change the lamp, and, um, <laughs> and especially this one. <laughs> Uh, so I, I'm just you can't finished. now. No, that's no. it. You can't change it anymore. It's done. <laughs> <laughs> put down your crayons, put down your paints. But you know, there's an amazing Henri Samuel interiors book that I've got, which I can show you later. Yes, and there's yes. a very beautiful illustration of one of the bedrooms in a Rothschild mansion. And in fact, the thing I love the most about it is it, it looks quite like timeless, you know, all antiques. Yes. Except you can just see the kind of 1970s TV on a little stand in the corner. And it's those changes, I think, that make it human, that date it. Like, that was from then. Yeah. So I don't mind yeah. that things will yeah. be changed afterwards. No. This because is this moment. this Ikea lamp. Yes, <laughs> it was that. <laughs> we have to remember oh, the Ikea indeed. days. Yes, indeed. They're so beautiful. You are yeah. so, so talented. Oh, they make me nice. really happy. Yeah. Whilst everyone's in the kitchen, my job is to open presents that the patrons left on the open days. We weren't expecting anyone to bring anything. We're completely overwhelmed by all of this and it all looks really delicious. I think there's a lot of food here. So I have strict instructions from Natty. I have to open everything. Is that right, Natty? Hearing you. Yeah, yeah. Yes, <laughs> I promise I'm on it. I'm all over it. I'm overwhelmed. So many delicacies from all over the world. Here, this made me laugh. This is a cake in a glass. This is from Hamburg and it's cinnamon cake. Which just makes me want to rip that open straight away. We have lovely wine from Sonoma. Goodies from Israel, Californian pistachios, a lot of Hungarian chocolates and Swiss chocolates, astonishing Hungarian table runners, glorious screen prints, and I have to show you these, look, Van Gogh and his sunflower. <laughs> it's going to be great on the tree. And Delft ornaments for Christmas too. Beautiful coasters. Look at the colours. They're just... Oh, so pretty. Even a porcelain spider. Sparkly shower gel. And this is going to be a fun night. Loads of Dead Sea mud from Israel. Oh, yes, I can just see us wearing that. And I think this is going to be Philip's favourite section. 
glorious cheese knives. And then these absolutely beautiful coal port place name holders, all different. Each one is a different flower. I have never seen these before. They are so delicate, so pretty. Oh, Philip, Philip, look, come and look at these. I love them. <laughs> Oh, I think Christine was talking about those. Yes. I hadn't opened them yet. She brought it as a gift during the Patreon day. Christine, they're beautiful. Oh, just beautiful. I love them. Imagine that on a summer garden party table. And look at this. Crunchy peanut butter marmite and truffle marmite. I didn't know these things existed. So this is how you two work together. <laughs> yeah. Retro music. Yeah. The big knife. <laughs> what are you cooking? Oh, aubergine. aubergine. I love aubergine. It's tomato. So the stuffing is yes. pork meat and it's got herbs in it. It's got shallots. It's got garlic. It's got chili. And now it's going to get parsley and some eggs. It's quite a lot of parsley. Is that all um, that pimo. parsley? To yes, the the we, just this and that and... <laughs> Crisis in the kitchen. Tonto Stephen, you left the sponge in the sink and it was soggy. But anyone's washed and dried. It's been so It's the one kitchen rule. The one rule. <laughs> No, it's the one wow. thing. The wow. one thing. I have to eat humble pie. So it's you great. have to squeeze it. It's crazy on your family. Oh, it's crazy on your cow. I thought it was so well keeping all clean and tiny. Disinfected. Disinfected or washed. And, <laughs> and one sponge. A little sea wheat, sea sponge. Wow. Saga. <laughs> Continues. Touching at this. Stunning. Look at all of that. And these are my favourite types. You know, a lot of people stuff them with rice, but I like it stuffed with pork. The Mediterranean way of doing it. Yes. Delicious. So many of them as well. We will get rice as a side. Yes. And with couscous as well and some peas. And couscous, which I adore. <laughs> I managed to find a moment to run upstairs and read a little bit about oriental carpets. I'm having oriental carpet fascination at the moment because I know nothing about them. So I've got lots and lots of books and I'm just going through them one after the other. But I suddenly heard a lot of hilarity on the terrace. And look what I see. Look at that. Champagne is out. Typical. <laughs> I always know. Yeah, when Tatinette and Andrew are in the house, champagne is out. <laughs> Every time I come in here, it's different music and you're dancing. <laughs> you managed to keep the water in there, so that's something. <laughs> I'll get it. This is who they left in charge in the kitchen. <laughs> Absolutely. The blind is in the blind. <laughs> that's where <laughs> Philip is. I wonder where they were. This is the secondary party. Are you having fun at this party? Yeah? The second party. Molly! Oh. oh my goodness! That's so clever of you! That's so clever! It's making you wonder. Wow! Well, no, because we've got them now. Well, we I'm have dogs. We like literally have dogs. The I chateau has out. beautiful dogs. Yes, Phoebe. I yes, you're beautiful out. too. <laughs> Ridiculous, you can use these for I'm petting and playing. I am, I am. But I think we should get one more dog. Custy, you look superb. Really beautiful. Thanks very much. Oh, so many people. We, so we're all like, we're all together. We're all together. And also, we did coordinate this. We've been planning this for weeks. Oh, we yeah, said, well, look, we're all going to wear all black. Yeah, Obviously, and there was Hoppy's I idea, wear right? Black it was you who. I want that because it's all that was clean. <laughs> I, yeah, I was clean at one point, but Phoebe shed a bit <laughs> over me. So <laughs> it's slightly less black than it was. <laughs> and I think I've got a bit on you as well. Yeah. Yeah. May I introduce Miss Kirsty and Sir Hoppy? Oh, Okay. It's clean for once. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you wouldn't recognise me. I did it. Hello. 
Good evening. No, we're all good evening. Good evening. Good evening. You well? No work today. Oh, Look at that. Oh, Mummy's oh, like oh, a queen oh, holding oh, court in oh, a rugby oh, jumper. Hang on, hang on. I've got to say hello to the A-team. Top man. The main man. No, the A-team. The A-team. See? The A-team. <laughs> That's the parking team, we was it? no trouble in the car park, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well. yeah. The Sorry. chef is sending us to the table. Thank you very much. I love your new bag. Cat, Thank love you. it. Yes. Oh, Josie, I'm guessing that is your beautiful bag and yeah. you look beautiful. Thank you. On a As always. You said there was a party I didn't know about. I mean, oh, I knew it was easy. I genuinely oh. didn't know it was a party tonight. Oh, Philip, did you do this? Yes, with your arms. Oh. Feels like a wedding. This feels like high table. <laughs> Who's getting because married? <laughs> Josie, anything you'd like to tell? <laughs> I wish! <laughs> this is the moment I've been waiting for seriously all, hot. all afternoon. You can put it straight onto the table. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, but not the other one. Oh, right. <laughs> not on the other one. Oh, and the couscous. Oh, I'm following Philip. He's got the food. There's nowhere else I would rather be right now than trotting behind Philip. <laughs> We've been saving these paper napkins for a special occasion. I thought this was the right one. Please, you have um, a salad with um, goat cheese and radishes and black olives. And then you have stuffed aubergine, stuffed tomatoes and stuffed paper. So have whatever you want. And then you have rice and peas and couscous. Friendship and love. Cheers. 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 Cheers! This is my favourite dish as a child. <laughs> Stuffed tomatoes. My grandmother made them for me every time I'd visit. And it is very good. What's going on here? What's happened? Hang on, this is this has gone a bit odd. <laughs> Up to the next course. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Just been, to digest. I've been playing too much patank. It's, it's tightened <laughs> so, up. So, Pavlina, are you being massaged or are you massaging? It's one of those parts. I just walked in on the scene. <laughs> uh, it looks very marvelous. You know, I, I have tense shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Is she very tense, Hoppy? Very. And why am I not surprised to hear that? <laughs> it's dealing with this madhouse. Like, if your mother stops, she'll fall over. She has to keep going. And There's no chance of her stopping. Bizarrely. <laughs> Looks like it's an empty table. Where's everyone gone? I think the massage is weirded everyone out. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're all washing up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you get that treatment every day? I wish. <clears throat> now he's, yes, appeared in public. Being a massage. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you know. Your hands are really hot. That is amazing. Oh, yeah. You ready? Ready for what? <laughs> this is going to be a bit hotter. Are you ready for this? <laughs> 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 Have you had a massage as well? Yeah, professional. That is really, really impressive. Massage. Really, really yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. No pictures, no comments. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ricardo. <laughs> Always a joy to see you, but even more so right now. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Took me all day. Oh my to golly! Do yeah, <laughs> you did well. You always really pull them off. I know. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Philip! Happy birthday to you! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's your favourite candle stand that I love using. I think the candelabra is original to the chateau. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for joining us for another day of La Land Life and to all of my patrons if you haven't seen this week's patron video yet it's the full version of one of my chats in the winter salon on the open days at La Land and a little update from Paris. Today I'd like to say a special thank you to my patrons Jim Demersman and Richard Patinord, Chelsea, Trez Hughes, Sherry Dusky Rinker and Michael Tuck. Thank you so much for supporting the renovations at La Land. And thanks to each and every one of you watching. I look forward to seeing you all again on the Chateau Diaries on Sunday.